Hello everyone! Today we'll have a new lesson about Information, Communication, and Technology or ICT Strand, TBL ICT. Even though technology has increased how organizations can be more productive, many companies still don't run as efficiently as possible. That's why most employers need staff members that understand the full potential of how information and communication technology can enhance workplace success. The best communicators really understand what efficient communication is and how new technologies should be used to make communication even more efficient. But it is not necessary for you to be acknowledgeable about all productivity software. The K-12 TBL track series, Information and Communication Technology Strand. Ever dream of becoming an animator? Interested in stepping into a career in the tech industry in the future? Taking the information, communication, and technology? Strand might be the right path for you. But what is it all about and how can you benefit from it? Here are some of the important things you might want to read about this strand. Information, Communication, and Technology, or ICT strand, is one of the strands offered under Technical Vocational Livelihood or TBL track of K-12 curriculum. ICT strand subjects seek to teach students concepts and skills in information technology. Under ICT curriculum, students will learn how to write programs and design websites. This will also help them hone their skills in animation and illustration, which will help them thrive in the creative field. Aside from this, ICT strand will also cover telecom installation and medical transcription. Taking ICT strand subjects is a good starting point if you want to take IT-related courses in college. Learning the basic concepts will give enrollees of ICT strand enough edge to excel. Aspiring programmers may choose to study software and network engineering. Those who want to in enter jobs in the creative field may take multimedia arts, digital illustration, animation, and graphic artists. These are just some courses that await ICT students in college. Graduates of ICT will also get a certificate from TESTA upon the passing the exam. This will grant them more chances to get hired as soon as they enter the workforce. Thus, taking ICT strand in senior high school will give more students a chance to build their career in the growing field of IT. But what college courses or degree programs can I take after the senior high school? If you are planning to further studies, here are some of the degrees that you can take for college. Computer Engineering, Information Technology, Software and Network Engineering, Multimedia Arts, Digital Illustration and Animation, or Graphic Arts. What are your possible professions? Information, Communication, and Technology, or ICT strand, can provide you with a wide range of options when you graduate. Right after you finish this strand, what are the careers? For ICT graduates, you can already apply for a job, and here are some of the careers that you can enter in ICT. Data encoder, system analyst, junior programmer, customer service representative, computer technician, radio technician, web designer, software developer, web developer, application developer, game designer, 3D animator, layout artist, telecommunications engineer, computer programmers, database analyst, project managers, social media managers, social community managers, 
security or networking analyst, technology support, mobile application developers, technical trainers or managers, e-marketing specialists, digital specialists, public relations or content marketing, web development specialists, social media and marketing coordinators, integrated marketing strategies, corporate communications coordinators, and online engagement specialists. There are also types of ICT skills. Information and communication technology or ICT skills refer to one's ability to converse with people through various technologies. Similar to information technology or IT, ICT refers to technology used for regular everyday tasks such as sending an email, making a video call, searching the internet, using a tablet or mobile phone, and more. ICT skills could also include the ability to use other communication technologies such as telephones, radios, and televisions. Almost every job requires some ICT skills and many require hybrid skills, a skill set that is a mix of technical and non-technical skills. One of the types of ICT skills is the email management and setup, being able to effectively and successfully communicate via email is critical to any job. You will need to send emails to colleagues, employers, clients, vendors, and so on. Companies expect their employees to write professional and well-written emails as well as respond promptly to messages received in their inboxes. Depending on the level of expertise required by your employer, you may also need to be able to manage settings or set up email accounts on various work devices. So here are the examples, Microsoft Outlook, Gmail, and G Suite, Send in Blue Email, Grove Front, Zoho Mail, Witten Communication, Digital Signatures, Stationary Settings, Out of the Office Settings, Spam Settings, Inbox Management, and Creating Rules. For the online research skill, almost every job requires at least some online research. Whether you are looking up new lesson plans in a subject or checking out the latest news on your company's competitor, you need to be able to sift all through the information online to find what you need. This involves basic online information management skills such as search engine research, checking sources, crediting sources, frequently answers and questions, and online forums. In terms of social media management, some jobs require you to use social media. For example, many people working in marketing tend to manage or update a company's social media presence. Even if this is not a critical part of your job, employers increasingly look for employees with basic social media literacy. The more you know about the benefits of and limits to social media, the more you can begin to use that media in valuable ways at work. Examples of these are Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media groups. For the data management and queries type of skill, From researchers to administrative assistants to K-12 teachers, almost everyone needs to be able to develop and manage data using spreadsheets. Furthermore, they have to be able to analyze the data and recognize trends and patterns. Fluency in programs like Microsoft Excel is critical in today's job market. For example, Microsoft Excel, Filters, SQL, NoSQL, MySQL, and Quantitative Analysis. For the desktop publishing, desktop publishing involves the creation of materials that need to be printed and distributed. This might include flyers, brochures, newsletters, and more. 
because you can create so much using desktop publishing software, many jobs require you to have some basic skill in this field. While people with a creative artistic eye might be particularly good at desktop publishing, anyone can get better with practice. Examples are Microsoft Publisher, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Print Settings, Adobe Creative Suite, and Quark Express. For the smartphones and tablets, many employers require that their employees use smartphones and tablets. They might even issue particular phones to employees or state that workers must be accessible by email during certain hours. For these reasons, it is important to know how to use a smartphone. And for examples are iPhone, Android devices, Samsung smartphones, BlackBerry devices, iPad, Samsung tablets, CAT S41, and Panasonic touchpad. For the word processing type of skills, in this day and age, it is expected that job candidates know how to use word processing technology. Candidates need to be able to produce when documents, including business letters, meeting minutes, and more, using a computer processor such as Microsoft Word. And another examples are Microsoft Word, LibreOffice Writer, Transcription, Typing, and Note-Taking. For more ICT skills, there are also Calendar Management, Organization, Time Doctor, Asana, Envision, Preview, Mailbird, Cache, Viewflux, Lab, Airtable, Yammer, Chanter, Scribus, Zeppelin, Acquire, Concept Inbox, IDAN, DIS 2.0, Red Pen, Latex, IOBox, Real Time Board, Mural, Go Visually, Data Analysis, Big Data, Computer Science, and Computer Programming. For the online collaboration, online collaboration is a broad category that refers to any means of sharing information with your co-workers or supervisor or clients online. This includes adding a meeting to a shared online calendar, providing feedback on a document through a web-based document application and holding an online video conference with colleagues. Examples of the online collaborations are video conferencing software, Skype, GoToMeeting, Instant Messaging, Google Docs, File Sharing, Dropbox Pro, Slack, Google Hangouts, and Zoom. Let's proceed to how to boost your ICT skills. Do you feel that your ICT skills are not as good as you want them to be? Is there a particular skill you are struggling with? Here are some tips to boost your skills and get ready for the job market. Practice using technology. If you already have some of the basic skills listed above, you might consider simply using them more often. For example, if you want to get better at using Skype or Zoom before an interview, simply practice using the video conferencing technology. Ask a friend to pretend to be the interviewer and do a mock online interview. The more you practice, the more confident you will feel when you use this technology when it counts for the job. Next, ask a friend. You can also ask a friend who is more skilled in a particular technology to help you develop your skills. For example, if you are not comfortable using your smartphone, ask someone you know who uses their phone a lot for some basic tips. Next, watch a free tutorial. There are many free online tutorials on how to use certain technologies. Some of these are on YouTube or can be found via a quick Google search. Others can be found on company sites. For example, check out Microsoft's tutorials and PDF with tips for using certain products. And last tip on how to boost your ICT skills is to attend a free class. Check with your local community college or public library to see if they offer classes on computer literacy or ICT skills. Many of these are free or available at a discount for a local residence.
However, before you spend money on a class, try some of the free strategies first. So that's all our discussions regarding the Information, Communication, and Technology or ICT strand as TBL ICT. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.